Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Freedom Homestead. My name is Tangi, and um, it has been a few days since I've come out to the garden. Um, I've mentioned before that I was kind of out of commission, um, just not feeling that great uh, there for a few days, and you can tell. Uh, so, a little backstory on this jungle of a garden we have. Can you see the pumpkin vine? So this is something that I probably won't ever do again. We had several volunteer pumpkin vines come up in the garden and we decided that we were gonna leave some of them. Um, and since we did that, we can't get to our green beans. Um, there is, it's just, it's gone everywhere. We, we tried to train it um, with, with no success. So um, we have a lot of overgrown stuff here, but I was talking to my friends we call ourselves the Sauerkraut Gang, <laughs> and it's my friends uh, Constance and Rowan Co. Farms, Anna from Fermented Homestead, and Constance from A Good Life Farm. And I asked them, I'm like, can I cut, can I cut the vine uh, to where it won't grow anymore? <clears throat> and they said, yes, you can safely without it killing the plant, and um, you know, leaving leaving some of the stuff to continue growing. So. I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the vine off to the biggest pumpkin so that pumpkin can uh, continue to ripen. And then I'm gonna get, either myself or Parker will come through here with the weed eater and we'll just start cleaning some of this out, getting ready for uh, some fall planting. Um, I really, I really messed up with the green beans. I had a really beautiful green bean uh, row and like I said, the, the pumpkin just took over and and it's just all gone. It's just all gone. So anyway, um, I have tons of tomatoes to harvest today um, and cucumbers and okra. I haven't checked the squash yet, but there's a lot to be harvested and put up. And so that is what we're gonna do. And yeah, so I didn't bring my tripod out. I don't know where I'm gonna set y'all, but. raised bed area and then I've got another section that I need to pick so I think we're gonna have a really good tomato harvest today and believe it or not a lot of these do, don't have splits I'm really surprised because we've had some rain and uh, we do have obviously some splits but not not bad enough that they can't be cut out and uh, consumed so pretty cool to go in and, and find more containers <laughs> so I found this wire basket in the garage as well as this green thing. Yeah, let's fill her up guys. I also grabbed my gardening gloves because there's two things I hate putting my hand on. One that is tomatoes that are leaking and soft and squishy and bugs. Blech. I've already grabbed a couple of tomatoes that were, that basically just burst in my hand. It was I'm taking a little bit of a break to cool off. It is, uh, I don't know, 1030, maybe it's probably closer to 11. Anyway, it is hot <laughs> and humid. So I just need to make sure that I stop and cool and uh, get plenty of water. But while I'm taking a break, I wanted to say this. Um, for those of you who watch my channel, I am sure that you probably watch lots of other homesteading channels. And you have already heard lots of homesteaders already say, it is not too late to plant something. Um, right now, most folks are putting in their fall gardens. Um, I plan on doing that soon. Uh, I'll have to do the math to figure out how many growing days we have left, but our first frost date is um, expected October 27th, and today is August the 3rd. So we still have all of August, all of September, and most all of October. So there are lots of things that we can plant right now that still have plenty of time to grow and that we can harvest a couple of times. That is a, I think that's a Japanese beetle. Um, anyway, so how you figure that out is you can actually go to the um, Old Farmer's Almanac's website, just Google it, 
Um, or you can even Google uh, first frost date 2022 and then put your zip code or your town and it will give you an estimate. Um, and then you can also ask Google to tell you how many days are between today and that date. And then um, anything that you think you might want to plant, like green beans would be a good one, squash would be a good one, just depending on how much time you have left, um, will tell you what you can grow right now. So, um, you know, we've said it over and over again that anything that you can do for yourself, any, any kind of food that you can produce, whether it's herbs, whether it's greens, greens do really good in the frost. Um, so look into kale, spinach, lettuce, whatever it is that your family likes to eat. Excuse me. And, um, and it's not too late to plant those. Pretty much all of those things do really well in containers if you remember to water and feed because that is why I stink at container gardening. I am a lazy gardener um, and I forget to do that kind of stuff. But um, anyway, there's still plenty of time. So look into it get it done. Containers, man, they can be anything. Poke you some holes in some milk jugs, five gallon buckets. Um, oh, there's a lot of gardening stuff on sale right now. I know Dollar General right now has uh, all of their summer stuff on clearance. So yeah, just go, just go and get and do. You can get five gallon buckets sometimes for like a dollar a piece or for free if you go to your local bakery, um, the, you know, the frosting buckets. I mean, there's just, there's a lot that you can do for yourself and your family to be a little bit more sustainable. Just a little bit more. You got this, you can do it, I promise. All right, I think I've got enough to get me started. It's really hot, it's getting to the heat of the day and I think I'll come out and pick uh, what beans I've got and the corn this evening. So let's go in, get this stuff washed up, get it in the can. Okay, so since I'm getting a kind of a late start on my canning, it's 2.18, I decided to go ahead and start dinner. This is a sirloin tip roast that I had um, thawing out in the fridge, and I am searing it on all sides. I just seasoned it really well with some everything. Loot booty barbecue, everything rub. We love this stuff. This is probably the fourth container that we've gone through. Um, Todd from that 1870s homestead introduced us to it. So, so good. All right, I'm gonna get this in the crock pot as soon as it's done searing off. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it just yet, um, but I do have another crock pot. I might, I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe throwing some green beans or something in. We'll see. That way I don't have to worry about dinner. All right. She's in there. Um, I just deglazed the pan. If you see that liquid down there, I just put some water in the pan and deglazed it. Um, and then just poured all those juices back into the crock pot with the roast. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do some green beans and um, I've got some red skin potatoes I need to use up. So I might uh, throw those in the other crock pot and then I'll slice a tomato and then din dinner will be ready. Right, just gonna show you really quick what I'm gonna put in my other cooker. This is one of those multi-use cookers. Um, all right, so I've got three or got two regular bags of our green beans, and then this is just a little bit of another one. So those are going to go in there. I've got six red skin potatoes that are going to go in there. I've got, uh, I'm going to put a couple of pieces of bacon for seasoning. We've got um, minced onion, uh, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and then water, of course. And then that's just going to cook along with the roast. And then that's what we'll serve up with a uh, fresh sliced tomato this evening. If I have time or the energy, I might cook up some of our fried squash or okra. Um, but as of right now, I don't I don't really have plans to do that. But anyway, we'll see. Mm. That's awesome. So the beauty of cooking this, uh, this much green beans is I'll just keep pulling it out uh, with dinners for the rest of the week until it's all eaten up. <clears throat> so we're gonna do about a tablespoon of the um, minced onion and get it open. That's more than that. Actually, I am up a little bit more. So that's more like a tablespoon and a half. Do about a teaspoon each of the um, onion powder and garlic powder. Hush, Ruger. Hush, Ruger. Um, in case any of y'all were wondering, 
These green lids are Parmesan cheese lids and they work beautifully on regular mouth jars. I love them for my bulk spices. And a little bit of salt. I'm just gonna have the potatoes. tip roast in that crock pot and this crock pot is homegrown green beans. Is it supper? Yeah. I'm starting it now so I don't have to worry about it later. Because I'm going to be canning it all night, y'all. All night. That's what it looks like. I put just enough water in there to kind of steam everything. So, um, yeah, and I'm just gonna put the lid on it and then I'm gonna turn it on to the slow cook setting. And hopefully the roast and everything will be done by four hours. So four hours, that's um, 635 is when we'll eat. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. All right, so this will, I'm gonna put this on for four hours. Got the roast, got my side, sliced tomatoes. We are done. All right, I'm gonna get my stuff cleaned up and then we're gonna start prepping tomatoes. these tomatoes can you see that so they are sticking way up out of the roaster they are sticking way up out of the roaster but that's okay because they are going to cook down so I'm not worried about it they will eventually all fit <laughs> in there so I'm just gonna put the lid like that let them cook down I will come over um, periodically and stir it I need to take this out to the chickens I need to get all of this cleaned up and then we're gonna move on to the next thing I'm gonna check on our green beans see how it's looking oh yeah that looks really good take a look at the roast it's looking really good too smelling even better
we have had dinner. It was very good. We watched a few episodes of a show that we've been watching. Um, it is now 8.45. So I don't know if you could tell while I was sitting at the table, I was slicing cucumbers. This is ice cold water. And I think, I think all of these are gonna be refrigerator pickles, um, which will be really easy to prepare. Definitely the dills. I was considering processing the sandwich slices. I'll think about that. And then my tomatoes are pretty much done cooking down. It's very hot. Um, so I think what I'm gonna have to do, I don't normally uh, ladle off the water, but there's so much that I think I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off too, because it's definitely, it's definitely cooked for long enough. Um, all right, so I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna ladle some of the water off of that and then get my spices and vinegar in there. My jars are ready to go, they're in the dishwasher. I just need to wash my lids and my bands. And then yeah, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get this processing. It's gonna be a late night, y'all. Okay, it is 10.30. So far, we've got, I've got 10 pints of salsa in this canner, I've got nine pints of salsa in this canner, and then I've got five waiting, and then I've got half of one in the fridge. I've got nine quarts of pickles, and then I've got some peppers and okra for the freezer. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, so I've got six, pints left in the canner. It's 11.30 um, and I'm getting the dishes and everything cleaned up and just trying to reset the kitchen for the morning. All right, my friends, the salsa is out of the canner. It is 12 after 12 and I am going to bed. I've got my dishes done. I've got, um, that's just going to be messy until garden season is over. i that's just what is what it is. <laughs> and I've got my coffee pot loaded and ready for in the morning. So before I forget you guys, if you want a discount code for these awesome four jars lids, excellent price point, wonderful family owned company. I've got a 10% off discount code for y'all down in the description box below. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me all day long. Um, that's all I've got for you guys today. We ended up with nine quarts of um, nine quarts of refrigerator pickles. Twenty. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-four pints. Actually, twenty-four and a half pints of salsa. The half pint I stuck in the fridge. Then of course we had several bags of frozen veggies and I'm not done processing everything, but we are done for the day. So until next time, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful and be prepared. And we'll catch y'all in the next one. God bless. Bye guys.